Stoke City Ladies Reserves completed the League and Cup double for the first time in the club's history thanks to a stunning 9-1 victory away to the new Saints. City came into the game knowing that a point would effectively secure the league title, but Stoke were to put in a stylish display that rarely saw them in any danger on the Welsh border. It took the visitors just 12 minutes to open the scoring. Tashtaz Gale, superb in swinging delivery, was crying out to be knocked home and Molly Bruton obliged to score her second goal in four matches. That goal settled any nerves Stoke may have had and a short corner routine worked to tremendous effect as Emily Curtis's cross was bundled over the line by Taz Gale. Stoke have had the upper hand in the league for a majority of the season and have only dropped five points throughout the campaign but TNS were handed a lifeline when Ellie Jones was harshly adjudged to have illegally stopped the ball from crossing the line and the resultant penalty was stroked home by former Potterette Lauren Brown. City reacted well to that minor setback though, with Rasheen Cavell racing through before clipping the outside of the post. The two goal advantage was soon restored though, as Brown inadvertently set Sophie Taylor up, with the midfielder firing low and hard past the goalkeeper to net for the seventh time this season. City were well on their way to retaining the FA Women's Premier League Reserve Midland Division title by now and were intent on adding to their lead. Tazgale had a couple of shots well saved by the home keeper before she set up Bruton for her second goal of the evening. It was another delicious delivery from Tazgale with centre-back Bruton able to force the ball in to make it 4-1. Cavell was next to get on the score sheet as Stoke began to run away from TNS. The ever lively winger made space for herself before unleashing a lovely shot that dipped over the goalie and into the back of the net. To underline the strength within Stoke's reserve side, Abby Idenden started on the bench despite scoring 25 times this season and the winger made it 26 soon after entering the field when she went on a galloping run and earned the luck she deserved to net City's sixth of the evening. Perhaps the biggest surprise of the game was that top scorer Curtis hadn't scored but she got in on the act when she was able to flick Cavell's cross past the keeper via a deflection off a defender. That was Curtis's 36th goal of a quite remarkable campaign and it soon got even better for the striker. Harriet Wellings' shot was stopped but TNS's failure to clear was punished by Curtis who lethally struck low into the corner as Stokes scored their 8th goal of the night. Stoke sensed the opportunity to reach double figures for the fourth time this season but they were to settle for nine in the end with Wellings finding the net via the post having been put through by Curtis. It was a wonderful way for Stoke's youngsters to seal the title and their achievement of being the best reserve team in the division for two consecutive years should not be underestimated. With the FA WPL Reserve Cup in the bag too, it's been an incredibly successful season. With the game in 24 hours there was little time to celebrate, but the popping of the champagne corks was much deserved for a group of girls who were doing Stoke City Ladies extremely proud. <laughs>